going to talk about high evolutionary and uh, the screw up or whatever happened over there. So uh, obviously right here, this is not right. I've got two Howard the Ducks. High evolutionary did not show up last night. Uh, we got notifications on our phone that high evolutionary is available in the token shop. And I just want to also put something else out there. I don't understand why Second Dinner does these, you know, major things when they're not working or very late. Like this person probably was in East Coast, you know, or Central Time. You know, Monday at 11 o'clock, I know for me out in Nevada, which is the same time zone as California, you know, is at eight o'clock at night. I don't think they're working there. So a um, couple things I want to talk about before we talk about how long it's gonna take for this to, to get fixed and what's happening. Um, this has something to do with the store. Now, Howard the Duck last re last week was released the day before the patch. So the patch came out after Howard the Duck was released because the release for Howard the Duck was correct. So what I'm saying is uh, this problem doesn't appear to be with the card itself, but has something to do with the release method and the release method was working before the patch. So we're gonna go over some memes and then what they've actually said. And then I'm going to talk about what I think is going to happen. Uh, when the entire community has been sitting 6K tokens for two months for high evolutionary. The best I could do is Howard the Duck, yeah. Hey, everybody, this guy has two Howard Ducks in the token shot, see, nobody cares. So what they said is that they initially said is like, hey, there's a problem. We're not gonna be able to fix this. We'll update tomorrow with more information. The fix for a high evolution is you require a, a client patch, which unfortunately means it's going to take some time. We'll continue to update everyone as we work towards the solution. Appreciate y'all, sorry for the inconvenience. So here's the thing. When they have to um, uh, recode, you know, they, they're not able to fix this with a simple over the air measures or something in a hot fix. Apparently the system for releasing cards and whatever that is, you know, adding it into boxes, adding it to the store, all of that stuff got broken with the introduction of the patch and they have to make a new patch and submit the patch for approvals. And this is where I think this is gonna take a lot of time. So when there's a new patch created for the game, it has to go to each store for approvals, Google, Apple, and Steam. And the approvals and the things that those companies are looking for is, do, you know, whatever's against their terms of service is, does this have malware? Does, does the software have spying technology and stealing your credit card information? They want to preserve the integrity of their platforms. And so that when you download an app, off of the Apple store, you know that there's nothing super horrible in this. Now, I just don't think, and based off my experience with developers, that something screws up in the middle of the night, second dinner scrambles all night to rewrite the code and then rushes to Apple, Google, and Steam and says, pretty, 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 please, we screwed up, can you, can you allow our app to cut in line ahead of all the other apps that you have for review? No, this is gonna take time. At least one of the three of them is gonna hold this back, maybe for several days. My general understanding of how long this process takes is two days, unless there's new information that I don't know about. Uh, I, don't, I don't see this getting fixed. Uh, or high evolutionary being introduced to the game for at least two days. If they have to create a new client patch, resubmit for approval to Google, Apple, and Steam, uh, you know, because they have to go and look and do their, you know, their best practices, you know, due diligence to make sure that there's nothing like, you know, harmful to the consumers inside. They're, they're not, they're not testing it for, you know, uh, bugs or anything like that. They're looking for like predatory things inside of mobile apps and things like that. So it's going to take a little bit of time. And I think high evolutionary is going to be delayed at least two days. Also, a new update about Galactus. And 
I, before I get into this, there's a lot of opinions on Galactus, and I and I made a video about Galactus, and and my takeaway from Galactus uh, in my last video talking about whether Galactus needs a nerf was that the way that I saw it at that time is that Galactus had a low cube rate, a negative win rate, and was easy to counter, and just because the deck is frustrating i personally didn't see the need for them to nerf them and then i said multiple times that my opinion will change on this if galactus becomes the most popular deck with a positive win rate and high cube rate well guess what has happened let's read what the developers said because they're the ones that actually matter and they're the ones that got to make a decision about this and this is what they said a couple of weeks ago, because we're going to give context to what they said yesterday. And I also believe that this means that we're going to get some sort of change to the deck, probably to a card like Doc Ock. And I'll explain my reasoning for this. So will Galactus be changing? This was a couple of weeks ago. The reason it has been changed is that the deck and its cards weren't crossing our nerf threshold as a losing deck that's right at the time that they wrote this the deck primarily had a negative win rate played by a small number of people it wasn't at the rate that it is being played today of people doesn't qualify as oppressive even if it can be frustrating recently and then they also qualified this recently has consistently remained too popular even with the weak win percentage so we're exploring potential adjustments however he is a, not a simple card to change, and this is why I think they're going to do something to Doc Ock, both from a design perspective and from a technological one. We'd rather make no change than, uh, than accidentally makes him uh, either stronger or unplayable, so we exercise diligence as we figure out the best course. So since this was stated, uh, some things have changed, and I think largely has to do with Leech. I think Leech is not being played as much and leech was like a pretty strong counter to galactus and uh that's not a thing but if i go and look at you know play rates that you know the the most played games you know from 50 to 99 because also true when once once you hit infinite and go over 100 the play rate for galactus actually goes down considerably but it's the most played deck with a high you know above average oh yeah 53 percent is a good win rate but it's not like 60 percent or 55 percent anything like that but plus three point three cubes is actually pretty good um in the past when i've looked at galactus he had like a 0.1 cube rate and had like a 49 percent win rate so this has gone up and it is the most popular deck and then if i look at snap.fan we can see that it looks like he's being played in 9.83 now the th interesting thing about this is that what the 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 play rate is actually higher much higher pre-infinite and then it drops off by 30 40 percent going post infinite so uh and then it has reasonable cube rates and when played what you know almost a 0.9 cube rate so what did uh, they say today? And this is the reason why I think that Galactus is going to be nerfed or I actually think they're going to look into a card like Doc Ock. It doesn't have to be Doc Ock. Maybe it'll be some other card, but I'll explain why I think it's going to be Dark Art. A while ago, you pointed out that Galactus hasn't reached the threshold you set for him and that the threshold is much lower than for regular cards. Yeah, they also said in another post that because Galactus is a polarizing card, uh, they had a lower threshold for nerfing Galactus. They actually said that at one point in the past as well. Now, my question is, has he crossed that line? He has been the most popular deck in the game since the beginning of the previous senior and his play rate, according to my third-party sources that are available to regular players like me on Untapped, is oscillating between 11 and 12%. And then they said, yes, his play rate hasn't subsided as we'd hoped. We've reviewed ways we could adjust his card to better accomplish our goals. So uh, I, I want to talk about two other posts that he also talked about, kind of gives better context to this thing as well. But um, if I'm looking at this, just this deck here above me, and um, if they wanted to make a small adjustment to the galactic deck that wouldn't change him drastically but maybe like it's you know slightly lowers his play rate slightly 
lowers his win rate slightly, uh, reduces his cube rate. Uh, maybe they look at an adjacent card. So they've done that before. Like they did that with Dark Hawk. Dark Hawk was seen as being a little bit strong. And what did they do? They nerfed Rock Slide. They made him a 4-5 from a 4-6. Did that change Rock Slide and Dark Hawk drastically? No, but just a little bit. And one of those cards, uh, just like Rock Slide, is pretty much exclusively played with Dark Hawk, is Doc Ock. Uh, and you know, when I look at this deck list, you know, a lot of these cards are played in other decks and other situations. Uh, but largely, I think Doc Ock and Null are played with Galactus. There are a couple decks that run Null without Galactus, but actually, I'm, I don't know if there's any decks right now that play Doc Ock with Galactus. So if they wanted to do something to the Galactus archetype, and knock it down just a tad like they did with rock slide uh maybe that has they do something to doc ock and uh you know what i could see them doing is making doc ock cost six and maybe have 15 power uh because the thing that doc ock does for the galactus deck is he goes off the turn before galactus and he strips all the counters out of the hand so either the number of cards or where the cards come from or uh, just making it not work in that manner where he can't go off the turn before Galactus would change the way the deck works. Now, that doesn't mean Galactus would go away. I, I suspect that a lot of people would just, you know, if, if, if Doc Ock got changed like that, people would just pivot to like cards like Daredevil. But that might be enough. Uh, we'll have to see. At the end of the day, it, it's pretty much up to them. And I wanted to read one more post um, there was another post that basically was talking about uh, Galactus nerfs and wave nerfs and things like that. And he said something that also interesting, and then we'll wrap up the video. Community's primary impact on balance change is to influence the timing or nature of the change, not whether we will make one. They, they rely on data is what he's saying. We may prioritize louder concerns higher once we decide to take action and we'll preserve what players have made clear that they enjoy whenever we can. And then somebody made the comment to me is like, well, they 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 only nerf cards when they're gonna drop from series four to three, and that's about money. And he kind of confirms that a little bit. Not for that reason, but he says, Yeah, they do wait to nerf cards. <laughs> like when they come out, they don't nerf cards, but as soon as they're gonna drop from like series four to series three, that's when they do it. Kind of that's what he says right here. Series and past status mostly don't matter, though we do avoid adjusting the newest content when all else seems equal. All right, that's a tiebreaker because we prefer not to dampen the excitement surrounding new cards and changing older cards makes collections feel less stale anyway. Okay, so uh, that kind of gives some explanation. What do you think about this Galactus nerfs? What do you think about high evolutionary? I'm still waiting for my high evolutionary, but um, me personally, I'd be pretty surprised if high evolutionary was available today. I'm expecting two days, but we'll have to see. Let me know what you think in the comment section as always. Thanks for watching. Keep on giving me bye for now.